What's up gang, it's Brian B, West Coast Swing Online. In today's video, we're gonna answer a question that comes in, is West Coast Swing hard to learn? And I've got a couple of articles that we have over on our site that I'm gonna link up. One is called The Seven Challenges of West Coast Swing, and 10 is a survey that we did of over 10,000 West Coast Swing dancers to find out their 10 biggest struggles, so we know what your struggles are. And I wanna answer the question, is West Coast Swing hard to learn? By telling you a story. Years ago, almost 20 years ago now, uh, my dance partner at the time owned a studio and someone came in and said, which dance is easy to learn and which dance is the hardest to learn? And she said something I thought was completely brilliant. She said, every dance is easy to learn, every dance is hard to do well. So that's a good way to think about it. Dancing, we teach people of all walks of life to learn to dance and I've been able to teach everyone that's walked through the door to functionally dance. Now, to become brilliant at it, much, much harder. But let's talk about specifically why West Coast Swing might be a tricky dance well worth it, the juice is worth the squeeze as they say, so I don't want you to give up, but I want you to know that there are some challenges. And so see, these are some of the ones that we've come across over the years from an article we wrote, The Seven Challenges of West Coast Swing. Number one, triple steps are hard, right? So in rumba we don't have triple steps, but in West Coast Swing we have to fit three steps into two beats of music, and that's tricky to do. Number two, dancing in open position requires frames. So in ballroom dancing, we have two connection points on our partner. In West Coast Swing, we only have one at the end of our arm, and so that's a tricky thing to master. Number two, it's not a mirror dance. So if you're dancing a waltz box, learning in a beginner class, the leader's moving forward to the side and back in a box, and the follower is mirroring that, and that's much easier to learn as a beginner. So it is not a mirror dance, so in that sense, it's challenging. Um, anchoring elasticity, the stretch that makes West Coast Swing cool, right, to do it well, that's a tricky concept to master. If you're a music person, you'll find out, we get this a lot here on the YouTube channel, that it's inherently off phrase. And if that doesn't bother you, congratulations, you don't need to worry about it. But it's inherently off phrase. We have six and eight beat uh, basics, and the music works in eight beat increments, and that doesn't match. It also lends to the brilliance of West Coast Swing as a what I call a street dance and a very musical interpretive dance. Um, number six is West Coast Swing is a conversation. At its highest level, it's not pure lead follow, but there's a conversation that as your partner becomes more involved in the dance, that there's communication back and forth. And then number seven, is that West Coast Swing has a huge range of musical styles and tempos, which makes it tricky, but it's also what makes it awesome. So is West Coast Swing hard to learn? Sure, anything is hard to learn when you're brand new at it, but the juice is worth the squeeze. Now let's talk about the 10 biggest struggles of West Coast Swing, and this is one of the areas that we have worked to try to provide resources for you guys. So if you go to these articles in the corner in the description below, um, these articles have linked resources for all these 10 struggles. And this comes from a survey of over 10,000 dancers that we did several years ago. The number one thing that people have trouble with in the beginning is staying on time to the music. And we have a bunch of musicality resources to share, you, share, for, share with you there. Number two is I can't remember my patterns. You and me both, brother and sisters, you and me both. I swear that at any given time, even though we've put hundreds of patterns online, I can only remember six, seven, eight, ten of them at one time in my head. So if that's you, you're not alone because I'm number two as well. Number three is I lack self-confidence. And this comes to why learning anything is new. If you look at the movie uh, Shall We Dance, when Richard Gere walks into the ballroom, uh, the ballroom dance studio and everyone's putting on their dancing shoes and he looks around and feels really awkward. Um, I resonate with that because I watch people walk in all the time and they're scared and petrified. So if you lack self-confidence, again, you're not alone. Number four is the one question that we can't fix for you. I don't have anyone to practice with. Um, we wish that we could solve that problem for people, but that's one we can't. So if you're fortunate to be in a good dance community with other people, that's excellent. Um, and if not, try not to convince your spouse if they don't really want to dance. That sometimes goes wrong. Um, but finding someone to practice with is definitely a struggle. Then as people level up and get better, they struggle with musicality and creativity and styling. And those are things that we can help with. We've got a lot of resources linked in that article that you can get. So when you get to number five and you're struggling with musicality and styling and those types of things, we can help with those things. We've got lots of resources. Um, people get stuck on various things despite knowing what they're doing is incorrect or could be better. So you're kind of stuck in a rut, and that's part of the learning process, is sometimes we all get stuck in a rut. I've been there a ton of times over my dance career, 
as a teacher, as a competitor, and even as a social dancer, you tend to get stuck in a rut. That's just part of the creative process, which brings me to something that a, uh, I think it was a physicist, Amit Goswami said, the creative process is do, be, do, be, do, be, do. And he has an Indian accent, so it sounds really cool. So do, right, learn, 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 and then be, kind of be in that rut for a little while, and then go back and do, learn some more stuff, and then let it settle in. It's not gonna be a linear process, it's gonna look like this, the learning process. So if you're stuck in a rut, you're not alone because that's number six. Number seven is you look around at everyone else and feel how frustrated, uh, you get frustrated that they all know what they're doing and you don't. And I say this to all my beginners here in the studio, when you walk through the door and someone has been here for one more day than you, they're gonna look like they know what they're doing. And for me as the teacher, I know that that person who showed up yesterday is only one day ahead, right? So being comfortable that, of course, we're on a mountain and somewhere at the top is the world's greatest dancer. I don't know that the single greatest dancer exists, but we're all somewhere on that mountain. And once you've made it one, two, three, four days, you're already climbing up the mountain. So that is a normal process. And the number seven frustration in trying to figure out is West Coast Swing a hard dance to learn. Um, a lot of people moving over to West Coast Swing from other dance styles find it tricky because of the things that we shared earlier in the seven uh, challenges of West Coast Swing. It's inherently off phrase, it's not a mirrored dance, we don't have a closed dance hold, so it is trickier in that respect. So it is not the easiest dance. So if you're learning West Coast Swing from the jump, um, welcome to the club, you're jumping in the deep end. You're gonna find everything else much easier if you can dance West Coast Swing. Um, social dancing is quite frankly way beyond my comfort level and I can remember the very first time I went out to an all West Coast swing dance because I learned at a country bar and I could lean on other dance forms and line dancing but the first time I went out to an environment where everybody knew what they were doing I was petrified and my friends told me don't worry you're fine and at the time I didn't believe them but now with 20 something years experience I look back and I go hey that young Brian B wasn't too bad because he was focused on his basics. I didn't know a lot of cool moves back then. And uh, I just wanted to dance my basics on time. And that is a big chunk of what makes a dance enjoyable for people is being fundamentally sound. So if social dancing is beyond your comfort level, just like walking through the front door of a studio, that's a normal struggle. Number 10 is something I wish I could find uh, help you for is finding a place to dance and someday along the line, we're gonna do something on community building and how to build a community, but I've traveled to almost 25 countries around the world and um, seen all sorts of different dance communities and almost all of them started, and I'm gonna date myself here, with someone with a boom box, right? Meaning, today, it's a laptop, but back in the day, it was a boom box and some tapes. My best friend's a DJ and he used to travel with a suitcase full of music. So they all started with a passionate person who just collected a few people to practice on their back deck. In fact, here in Louisville, Kentucky, we've got some line dancers that dance in the pedway, the walkway between buildings, because after everyone leaves downtown, no one bothers them up there and they can get their groove on for a couple hours. And they've been doing that for years and years. Um, and then the bonus is that you're, we, tr we touched on this earlier, that your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend is not into dancing. Sometimes that happens. If they're, uh, they're cool with allowing you to go out to dance and dance with all these strange people, that's a huge bonus. But if that's a struggle for you, um, you're not alone because that's number 10. So that brings me to answer the question, is West Coast Swing hard to learn? Sure, it's hard to learn. Anything's hard to learn. It's easy to do if you spend some time at it. We're gonna do our part here at West Coast Swing Online, so make sure to share these videos with your friends. We have tons of resources for beginners all the way up to pro-level dancers, so anything that you're struggling with, let us know, and we'll do our best to, uh, to help you out. So, see you again in the next video.